Good morning everyone and welcome to today's video. So one of my favorite treats that I've gotten at Disney, of the many treats that I've had at Disney, is the caramel apple. Now the caramel apples at Disney are massive and gooey and covered in toppings and there's just nothing like them. But today we're going to try to replicate them. This is perfect for an evening at home activity. It's perfect for a birthday party. Heck, this is just fun anytime. So let's get started making some caramel apples. So the ingredients that you are going to need are, of course, some apples. I recommend one apple per person. So, the next is caramel, and you can do your caramel in many different ways. I am using caramel flavored topping from Smucker's. I tried to pick up the caramel apple dip like you get in the produce section, but it seems like everybody's got caramel apples on the brain or apples with caramel on the brain, so I had to go with this. You will need some skewers. You can get several different sizes or kinds. Um, I picked these up at Dollar Tree. Please note that they are um, they are pointy and sharp and they still can, can hurt you. And then you're going to need some toppings. And so the toppings I have today are just some cake sprinkles. I have some peanuts. And I have some M&Ms. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is chop up your apple. And I have already done that. Uh, because y'all know how to chop up an apple. Um, I just use a regular um, Santuco knife. You can use one of the apple slicers, especially if you're doing this with kids and they want to help. Um, just note parents, supervising adults, older siblings, that that is a knife. It is literally something that cuts and you can still cut yourself on the apple peeler. Or you can still cut yourself on the apple core because I have done it myself. I know. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your wooden skewer and an apple slice, and you're going to jab them into that, your skewer into the apple slice. Again, parents, this is dangerous. I'm waiting to jab myself, actually. Okay, that's pretty decent looking. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're literally going to be eating it off of the skewer. Okay. So the second thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up your caramel, whatever type of caramel you have chosen to pick up. This is actually already pretty thin. Sometimes, like if I had picked up the caramel from the produce section, it would have been cold. So it would have needed to have been warmed up a little bit. So I'm simply going to take my caramel and I'm going to drizzle it over my caramel app, my apple slices. So. Let me change views so you can see what I'm doing. Nice. These skewers are really good for other types of projects. You get a ton of them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, I've used them even um, at home or at my parents when I'm wanting to make a s'more. And these are perfect one time use s'more skewer sticks for indoors. Just a thought. As you can see, I have all of my apple slices um, into with the skewer. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of scoot these over to one side and we're going to chop up some M&Ms because we don't want full size M&Ms on our um, teeny tiny little apple slices. So I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors and snip them open. If I hold them the right direction, that's helpful. Okay. We don't need a whole lot. So we'll just sprinkle a few onto the whoop, sprinkle a few on the plate there. And you can take and chop these up. You could also buy the M&M minis. M&M minis would be another great option if you can find them. You can I think you can still find them at Dollar General. So I'm just going to chop up a few of these. Be very careful. Make sure and hold both edges and then we're gonna make caramel apple pop 
Okay, so I've got my caramel apple right, caramel right here. Stick this on my plate here. Mmm. Mmm, tasty. Got on my fingers. Okay, so we're going to take our apple. And we're going to simply coat it in caramel. And as you can see, it does kind of want to come off, so just got to kind of work with it a little bit. So I want to know, tell me in the comments below, what is your favorite type of caramel apple at Disney? Or do you like the caramel apples at Disney? I'm trying to be neat about this so that it falls back into the jar and not like alongside because that would be messy. All right, ta-da! We have apple and caramel. Kind of wiped off a little bit. Woo! That was a little flinging, flinging caramel here. And then you just sprinkle your toppings and then we're gonna set it down and do another one. So here's the part I'm excited about. We're gonna eat one. So I'm gonna grab this one that I just did with my sprinkles. It's good. However, I think that this would work a little bit better with caramel apple dip because it sticks to the apples a little bit more than the sundae topping is. Because the sundae topping is very thin. You saw that. And the caramel apple dip itself is a heavier. You could also, they make caramel, they have a recipe with caramels themselves that you can make your own homemade caramel and that's totally an option too i have attempted to do that before and i'm pretty sure out at fort lewis where sam and i were stationed about 10 years ago there's still caramel on the ceiling Shh, don't tell so because here is what the m m one ended up looking like it kind of they just fell off because the the sunday topping is just so super thin i don't know if maybe if you drizzled it on there and like flash froze them a little bit if it would like harden up any better but it's all good so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it like i said earlier do you like caramel apples at disney if so let me know what your favorite type of topping is. Do you like M&M's? Do you like the peanuts? Do you like some other type of topping? Have you made caramel apples at home? If so, share your experiences with me down in the comments below. Like I said, I tried to make homemade caramel to make caramel apples years ago. And it exploded. And it went on the ceiling. And Sam and I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. But I guarantee it was still there when we moved. Shh, don't tell. That's the secret between us and all y'all out there. So thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.